How's everybody doing? I hope you all are having a great Labor Day weekend. I know I sure am. We uh, have been out doing a little early goose hunting, early teal season, very first ever one here in Minnesota, but I'm not gonna talk too much about this. This is a lawn care channel. And uh, the missus and I decided to make a big business purchase this last weekend. And uh, I couldn't be more excited to share it with you guys. So here it is. 30 inch Toro stand on aerator. I've been thinking about doing this for quite some time. This machine is used. It has, oh, let's see here, 133 hours on it. I wouldn't lie to you guys, I got a pretty smoking deal on this thing. I didn't even pay five grand for it. Uh, it's a 2018. It was a rental here at local shop. Kawasaki FS 541V. Pretty good commercial motor. So for those of you who do not know, you can see the hydraulic in there. Got hydraulic down pressure here. Here's your PSI gauge, uh, which is activated. Uh, by the foot pedal down here. You can adjust the hydraulic force right here. That's gonna adjust your depth. And as you can see, I've actually rented this before, so I'm super familiar with this machine, but got about a two and a half, three inch plug right there. That's about what you want. And this thing does a wonderful job. You can do, you can do a quarter acre subdivision lawn in literally, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes with one of these. Fall time is my favorite time of year to do aerations, as well as we offer overseeding. We uh, do all of our overseeding with our Toro Spray Master. We are big Toro fans here at Blades LLC. I wish I could work on getting something worked out with them, but we're not quite there yet, so. I did want to show you something pretty cool too. I haven't talked about this much in any of my other videos, but down here you can see there's a little, this is actually a maintenance diagram. So it shows the machine, which is really nice. It shows you, uh, these are the hours at which you'll have to service each individual part. So you can see like the diagram here. Now this one I'll have to do some studying on, but I could tell you how to read like the one on my mowers and stuff. It's pretty cool. You can look in the manual and it shows you what all these things indicate. Like, oh, let's see here. Like this one's pretty easy. It's tire pressure, uh, 13 PSI. It tells you what all that stuff is supposed to be at. So in case you guys didn't understand what uh, this little diagram is, it's a maintenance diagram. Hydraulic oil right there. Hydraulic filter, pretty sweet. It runs just like a zero turn. You can steer it. Uh, parking brake, this is the parking brake. It's in park, and then push it forward to release it. This button uh, is so, you can turn off the foot pedal, so when you're just cruising around, you can stand here all day long, push that foot pedal, and uh, the tines will not go into the ground. So, uh, what do you, what do you guys say we jump on this thing and I'll rip a few plugs for you and uh, you can kind of see how it works here. We'll get this camera set up.
hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video and I hope you'll watch some more of our videos here on the Blades LLC YouTube channel. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know uh, what we can do different in our videos and uh, what you think of this new machine here that we got. Well, it's not brand new, but new to us. So hope you all are having a great Labor Day weekend. Stay safe out there. God bless and have a great work week this next week. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.